To see how vintners today are reconciling with the changing climate, we went to France's most prominent and profitable wine region. Bordeaux pumps out more than 700 million bottles each year. Its prestige stems largely from its optimal environment and temperate climate, ideal qualities for making fine wine. Belle journée ensoleillée, nearly the same. Temps couvert, mais chaud. It was quite warm. Les matinées sont fraîches. This is unbelievable. They have records for the weather each yes. day of the year, every 1924. Day, every day, every year. Wow. For one year. Wow. So it's actually really possible to track the climate. Of course. Of course. Magnifique, no? So here I have some thousand bottles of very old wine and many wine from different regions of the world. So we have a very high level of choice of wine here. Are these the years on yes. the wall here? Yes. Wow, all the way back to And the 1905, 1908. Right. Magnifique. How will you continue to make wines in a natural way as uh, the climate continues to change, the earth continues to warm? Bordeaux is on the 45th parallel just in the middle of south and north. So the 45th is a magic line just in between. If you look on the map in France, north of the 45th, you have Champagne, Loire, white. It's the world of white. South of the 45th, south of France, Spain, Italy is red. There is, of course, exception, but the rules is like that. So south of the 45th, the vine is red. North of the 45th, the vine is white. Bordeaux, like Burgundy, like many vineyards in Italy, uh, are around this 45th, making white and red. When I started here in the 80s, um, there was nearly 50% of the vineyard of Bordeaux was white. Today, 88% of the vineyard of Bordeaux is red. So everything is shifting north. Yes. We still have choice in Bordeaux. In some regions of the world, when you are already two sours today, it will be more difficult in the next uh, generation. So introducing new varieties could allow Bordeaux yes. to continue producing yes. great yes. wines? Yes, yes, yes. 